Hey guys, it's Becky from Applewood Ford. I just want to show you guys a 2015 Ford Explorer today. It was actually a lot of fun to drive out here. I'm pretty impressed. And also the heated steering wheel was really nice today because we got negative three or something like that outside. So yeah, I'll show you guys the outside first. All right, so here it is. So my only regret is not giving it a wash, but I promise if you guys come in for a test drive, I don't know if you can see the, the bit of road film on it, but it's a little bit messy, but. But uh, this thing has a 3.5 liter V6 in it, so it can definitely go, it can definitely tow, it can pass people on the highway, all that good stuff. Uh, you get 290 horsepower out of it, 255 pound-feet of torque. It is a four-wheel drive, it is an automatic, it's got six speed in the transmission there. It's also got the dual shift, so you can shift manually if you want to. And uh, one of my favorite points, actually. Oh, hang on, I think you have to unlock it first. Bam, hands-free lifts itself up there so i'll show you guys the back here while i've got it open so as you can see there's not a crap load of cargo room until you press one of these handy little buttons here so say you wanted to stow these seats right away watch that so it's all hands free which is really cool you can also press yourself another button. I just got the seats to fold. Oh, and some Cheerios fell out. And then you can get them to flip right back to normal, so that's pretty handy. And up here you've even got a little grab handle, so it's easier to uh, give this thing a close. So I'll show you guys the driver's seat here. Actually, let's turn the vehicle on, so... Uh, Push of a button, starts itself up. Uh, that's always super handy to have. It just beeped at me because I've got the key. So once you've how, or once you've uh, remote started it, it's quite bright. I don't know if you guys can see, but you hold your uh, foot down on the brake, and then you give this little button a press. And my steering wheel is lowering. It's got uh, memory memory steering there and uh, the memory seat. So as soon as you start it, it'll slide into position. And uh, here for the gauges, I actually really like the fuel gauge right there. It's almost easier to kind of tell how much fuel you have. Uh, even on that tiny eighth of a tank, it's still got 123 kilometers to empty. And as you guys can see, there are, there is 85,000, just under 86,000 kilometers there. So the gauges are nice and bright, nice and easy to see. There's your little compass, which is cool. And it even knows I'm at the Bear Cove rest area right now, which I am. Someone's taken my favorite parking spot today, but we still have a really good view. It's a really beautiful day. So got some other stuff going on here we do have one of these bad boys which is really cool actually we've got two if I can get that there we go that just slides right back so you've got Sun and moon roof that's the only one that opens but you've got a couple of different choices you can just get the back open there if you can see it get a little air in here or I get to know my buttons here Give it a push and it slides all the way. Really nice to have, especially in the summer. Right now it's freezing cold, but that would be so nice with the summer. Also shows you your fuel economy, which is really cool, and that will change as you drive depending on how you're driving. If you really got your uh, your foot right down on the gas, it's you know you're gonna not have as great fuel economy as if you're driving a bit slower and a bit safer. So it's really good to know sometimes. You've also got some different uh, settings for different driving conditions. If you're driving off-road on something a little bumpy, uh, if you're driving in drier conditions, wetter conditions, stuff like that. If you're on an incline, that's really handy. You can see I'm in the normal normal driving mode there because that's what I'm doing. Um, there's your manual mode right down there. And in here you see you have quite a lot of choices. You can put an SD card in it even, which is really cool. Um, there's a little PowerPoint. You've got some of those little USB uh, thingies in your auxiliary. Uh, Plug in. I'm forgetting where it is today. Also, you've actually got uh, five outlets in total, four DC and one AC. They're all 12 volt. Really handy to have. And then up here, if I can help you guys see properly, it's quite bright out today. So definitely got heated seats and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, all your options are right there. Um, there is satellite radio in it. There is also a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is cool. You can stick your phone right up against it. And uh, you can also pick radio, CD, whatever you want to do. So there's a lot of settings as well. Oops. 
Uh, there we go, 2.50 Pacific time. You can change all of that. You can have a 24 hour clock if you want. And uh, you've got your uh, sound ballads and all that good stuff here. Vehicle, no disc. We'll figure out what that means when I get back. No disc for that either. Oh, I think it's talking about the CD. Anyways, your display. Your display, you've also got some choices here. So you can get it brighter, you have a day or night mode, and you can edit the wallpaper. Come on, let's check out what we've got for wallpaper. So add, I think you can add more online, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you can stick some on your phone, add them online, and uh, you've got yourself your own custom wallpaper. Oh, and a universal uh, garage door opener. Always nice to have. You can set it for your garage door at home, open it up with just a touch of the button, no programming needed. Oh, and one more note about the sound system. We do have a, it's called a speed compensated volume system on it. So the faster you go, it's going to turn up your volume a little bit louder so that you can hear it over top of all the road and wind noise. If you're going a little slower, you know, just slowing down, pulling into your neighborhood, onto your street, it's going to lower the volume so it's not quite blaring so loud. So that's actually kind of handy to have. I have it in one of my vehicles at home and I actually, actually really like it. So here's a look at the back seats. There's a cup holder there in the door. The door's leatherette as well, also in really good condition. Ugh, and then back here, everything is actually really classy and kind of cool looking. You do have three rows of seats, so this one will fold down for you, no problem. So the kids can fit right in the back. You can also fold them all down and just have extra cargo room, which is cool. Oh, back up. These headrests are also adjustable, which is really awesome. And you can pull this right down, get yourself some extra cup folders, which is nice. So. Also, we've got the climate controls for back here. The, re the rear seats are heated and uh, both sides have their own control there. And you've got a couple of outlets. There's the one AC outlet, which is really handy to have if you need to straighten your hair or charge something that doesn't quite fit in there. So, and just a bit more of a proper look at these, these third row seats here. So as you can see, the headrests are actually folded down at the moment because we were opening and closing those uh, we were making those fold down and fold back in, but everything's in real good condition. It smells really good in here. All I can smell is leather. Everyone's got a cup holder, which is really handy to have. And you've got a little light, of course. So yeah, this thing is great. I actually really enjoyed driving it. Really smooth drive and everything's in really good condition. There's my purse there. Yeah. There's also this cool green ambient lighting here. Don't mind me. Those are my screws from the uh, license plate, but that ambient lighting is kind of fancy. I really like the ice blue in there as well. Look at this. We can change the ambient lighting. I said purple. Now it's purple. Watch this. I'm going to pick, let's go like orangey colored. We got an orange color. There's light blue. There's my ice blue. I think I'm going to leave it purple. I like the purple. That's just that's just one fun little thing. That's cool that you can choose. Oh, and look, we're up to zero degrees today. It was negative like two, one or two or something when I left. We're up to zero. We're getting warm. Also got performance tires on this thing, so you get a bit sportier of a drive than you would with mud or snow tires. And this is the white, uh, what do they call it? White platinum metallic trico. So you get that bit of a pearly, pearly look to it. It's not straight white. It's not the Oxford white. It's actually way nicer. One lock, two of those. Seriously, how awesome is that? I love remote start. And this one comes with it. You don't have to buy it aftermarket. You don't have to get installed. It's already in there. So I actually love this little car, uh, SUV. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to drive. Um, it's really smooth on the roads. It jumps on the highway. It's really, really nice. It doesn't feel like you're driving something big like that, but it can fit quite a bit of cargo room. Um, it's also got the My Key system, so you can limit, you know, if the teenagers are driving it, you can limit their top speed. You can limit the, aud the audio volume and all that stuff. Uh, it's got the valet function. You can turn everything off basically so the valets can't play with anything. Uh, if you go into the city, you know, and use a valet, I know there's nowhere really on the North Island to do that. But uh, yeah, this vehicle's honestly just in really great condition. I think you guys would really like it. Um, and I'd love to take you for a test drive. So come on down. Uh, leave my phone number at the bottom of the screen here. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. I just had the car locked because you got to lock it before you start it. And just as I walked up to it, it unlocked itself. So that's really nice to have. One more thing I had to show you guys this. Look at that. I'm on Highway 19 right now. It's telling me what the speed limit is, where I am. How cool is that? Sometimes I pass the signs and I'm not looking at them, you know, I'm sure we've all been there and I'm like, what is the speed limit where I am? But that's, that's really cool to have. It's going to tell me, so.
Thank you.